Halloween is just around the corner. It's time to get ready for our Halloween spooky rice bowl. Hey guys, welcome to Flavor Fridays. My name is Ryan, and today we're gonna make some salmon rice bowl, Halloween edition. So first things first, we need to do is wash the rice. So let's get that started. First things first, you need to first get short grain rice and must be sushi grain. The thing is that with sushi grade rice, you can get that nice sticky and fluffy texture, but jasmine is more loose. So that's why when you make sushi, it needs to have that nice texture. So to do that, you need to first wash your rice at least three to five times. If you don't wash it that many times, you're gonna contain more starch inside and it's gonna be mushy and it's not gonna be great for your rice bowl. You can do it the way I'm doing it, just by putting it in a bowl, wash it, and kind of really massage it through. Or you can do it in the sink and just really wash it until you see the water being crystal clear. And then you can start cooking your rice. So now it's time to cook the rice. So basically what you need to do is get your measurements done beforehand. So I have here 400 grams of rice that is already washed and you need around 20% more water, and that is 480 ml of water. You're gonna start by putting the rice and the water into the pot, and then add the kombu slash dried kelp in to give it that extra umami flavor. And once that's done, bring it up to a boil and let that boil vigorously, and put the lid on, and then turn it down to a four. That's around medium to low heat, for around 10 to 12 minutes. And once that's done, switch off the stove and let that steam for extra five for even cooking. Once you finish cooking your rice, make sure you take the kombu out or the dry kelp because that's just for flavoring. After that, you can pour all the rice onto a tray. Take your rice paddle and spread your rice to cool it even faster. Next thing you need to do is season your rice. So you're gonna start using the sushi vinegar and you wanna add at least half a cup of sushi vinegar and drizzle all over your sushi rice and spread it nice and evenly. That will make sure all the sushi rice starts to coat with all that umami profile and gives it a nice, sweet, tangy and tart flavor. And afterwards, you wanna set it aside and let it cool down until it is ready to wrap. So while you're waiting for your rice to cool down, you just want to use the scissor and cut the noise sheet into triangles. That's going to be the eyes and the mouth, so that way you can make your spooky Halloween rice bowl. All right, guys, so now we're going to mold the rice bowl. So you first need to wash your hand. Washing your hand will prevent the rice from sticking. Once you wash your hand, you're gonna grab a good size of rice onto your hand. So I would say like a tennis ball size, could be a little bit smaller, it's all up to you guys, all right? And then really press it down. This is perfect for kids to make it, it is fun, you make it crafty, but most of all, very delicious. So once you got the bowl ready, you're gonna take your smoked salmon, any of these slices, and just open it up. Cover it, and then press it down, all right? You don't have to cover everything. You just want the top side to be nice and orange, so that way you can put your stencils on top. Now it's time to put the stencils on top of your beautiful orange rice bowl. So, you can take the little triangles that you cut from the dried nori and just grab it with your chopsticks and then place it on top to create the eyes. And once you got the eyes ready, it's time to put the last piece, which is the mouth. So now, I'm just gonna place it on, carefully place it on and that's it. And now you got a little spooky rice bowl. And that's it. And now I'm just gonna make a couple more and then it will be time to eat. All 
All right, guys, that was really delicious. Thank you for watching this beautiful recipe that we did. And of course, I'm running out of time. It's time for me to teach a class. So make sure you check the links at the side over here. Boop, boop. And then check for more recipes and have a wonderful Halloween. And I'll catch you guys next time.